Hmm. I want to start something new on the channel. So what should we do? What game should we play? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking play on this, the first episode of a hopefully popular series with uh, Cities Skylines. If you're new to the channel because of this game, thank you so much for um, giving me a chance and coming on by. If you do like it, smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you're going to want to see more. If you're one of my regular subscribers that watches uh, Football Manager on the channel, thank you for giving this one a go, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below if you play it and how bad I am at this game, which is going to become pretty apparent pretty quickly I would imagine. Um, you probably noticed from the intro in my Steam library there I've only put uh, about three hours into the game so far. Most of that is staring at it wondering what is going on. Um, so we're going to choose our map. Um, we are going to go for I'm thinking maybe shady strands because there's a lot of natural water there. It's got all the normal connections. It's got some pretty good natural resources. So let's get that loaded up and see what we're dealing with. So here we go then guys, this is what we're dealing with. Um, that is quite an interesting looking little map, isn't it? So we've got this area here immediately, which is immediately striking me as being probably the industrial and the commercial area. Then over here, I think we might build the residential bit and then they're properly well away from each other. Um, we've got the river running that way. So uh, up the screen as we're looking at it. So that obviously means that the sewage is going to have to go probably right down here somewhere. That does make me think I might have to put the industrial here now instead. Because um, I don't really want the sewage to be pumped out in the residential area, do we? So um, yeah, hmm. maybe we'll put the residential area up here then. So let's get into this. First thing we need to do, of course, is build some roads. So I think what we are going to do, I think we are going to build the residential area in this bit. Um, up here so we will first of all build some roads please connect your city to a highway connection yes I know give me a chance oh it's forgot to pause it didn't I we flicked forward about three three weeks I think there um, so this is the out so what I'm thinking is my normal thing is I end up spending all my money on the roads so I've got to be very mindful not to do that so what I'm actually thinking is could we just do something like this um, could we bring that all the way out and then back across there just have it as a square this is just gonna be our residential area this is just gonna be what we start with but then we can have maybe have some roads coming off so you come in this way and you would go round and round and round and round and round so obviously things like this road here would need to connect maybe there then maybe bring one from maybe down there to there because um, obviously if you live here you don't have to be driving all, all the way around do you so yeah let's maybe do some roads going off here maybe put that one up there money's doing okay at the minute not too bad um, let's let's move in a bit and move across getting used to the controls as well this is uh not good <laughs> not good right let's move over here a bit that's looking okay there so if we maybe put a road if we can put a road there maybe going across like that possibly across like that um and then probably join those ones up there maybe join that one up there and join where can i join that one come on there we go maybe join that one there so that's not a bad looking little uh, little little residential area there i think i think that looks quite good to be honest um i'll zone it off so we'll we'll zone off from here all the way around what i might do is i might do oops just gone a little bit crazy there zone this here 
and that up there. I'm still getting used to how I like the camera in the game as well, so apologies if it's not to your liking at the moment. Hopefully that will sort itself out over time. Definitely want some houses there looking out onto the river, don't we? Um, don't really want any here because we don't really want any right by the um, right by the freeway. Um, we have got it set to left-hand traffic. I am British, so it would do my nutting if we had it set to right-hand traffic. Um, when it comes to roundabouts and things like that, I would be totally, totally lost. Just to take the zoning out of there. And what I'm thinking is, is maybe we do a little bit of a commercial area, maybe just around here, because it's quite central. It's quite... Uh, you see it straight away and it should if we do that side of the road there as well that should give us a nice bit of uh, a nice bit of a shopping center area so let's go around can we this traffic comes this way so that goes over to go over there that comes back around to go over that way so we kind of need to bring a road out there so we can just leave that there so we know what we're doing and we need one maybe here as well just so we know where we where we're going with this um possibly as traffic builds up we might have to put extra roads in there as well for coming out of the residential and the commercial area um but for the industrials area i think now that's going to be a bit of a problem isn't it because how are we going to get out? Hmm. You're going to be able to get into the residential area. Not going to be able to get out of it. That's going to... Oh, do you know what I've done there as well? Going to have to upgrade those, aren't we? Because we, <laughs> we've just done those as two-way roads. That was well done, wasn't it? So that was a good old waste of money. So they come in as one way. Um... I am going to have to figure out how they would get back out. Can we get... They can get back out. Hmm. You're probably all shouting at me now saying that they can obviously go this way or that way. But I'm trying to figure out if they come into the industrial estate, how they would go about going back that way. Hmm. Hmm. Does it matter? Is it really a concern of ours? Um, obviously, they can't actually get into the industrial estate if they're coming that way either. That is weird. Um, that hasn't really helped, has it? We might have to, until we unlock extra intersections and things like that, we might have to put an industrial estate over here. Maybe unzone that. Let's get onto the zoning tool. See, it's going well already, you can see. So maybe... Because I don't really want all the industrial complexes next to all the shops. Let me have a think about this. I'll be back in a minute. Right, I think we've got it sorted. So what we've done is we've given up on the idea of going over this side at the moment. Um, so what we've got is we've just got our little central commercial zone. Some... Uh, industrial areas either side and then we've got our residential zones there got some gaps here where we're probably going to put like the school and the emergency services when they come about we have our electricity grid in place at the moment that might need tweaking a little bit and we have our water it's a nice little confined little area which should in theory help me um understand the game a bit um, but it, i think that's looking okay um the houses are getting built as you can see so we've got some houses going up already are they still saying they need electricity or why are they saying they need electricity what is going on there electricity we're not using any uh, do they need do we need to put some do we need to put some I don't know do we need to put some going around like this is this a thing I have no idea. Is this a thing that we have to do? Maybe it is. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. 
<laughs> right, well, they've all gone blue. They're in the blue bit. Why are they not getting electricity? I don't get it. Help! Why are they not getting electricity? It's all blue. Is there a reason they're not getting power? I think as well. Do we need to put power on the... Do we need to put power on these? Or have they got, they've got power. So we've got the uh, the pumps. Um, we've got the sewage pump for some reason isn't... Oh, that's good, isn't it? Why is my sewage pump there? Let's bulldoze that. Let's get that sewage pump in the right place. Let's now get it connected. Okay, so that is now connected. He should have electricity. So that is all good. Ah, look at that. All the houses look happy now. All the houses look happy. Yay! All the houses look happy. I'm good at this game. <laughs> um, yeah, I did come up with a thought for the um, for the problem over here with the intersection. Um, I'm thinking probably underground roads when it comes to it. Um, but at the moment, things are going okay. We're still losing money. We've got 215 people in the town at the moment. So if we go back to zoning, it's looking okay. I was going to keep this maybe for the school but I think we'll stick a couple more houses in there it's got plenty of room to build on um, how's it all looking I hate it when it gets to night time um, it is looking pretty good there are things coming in we are still losing money there are people moving in though let's speed it up a little bit let's see how this goes it would be nice to end on that first milestone of um, I think it's 440 I think it is in this um where is it it's, i think it's 440 um 900 for the unique buildings it's a schools isn't it 440 for education oh look 4th of april 2018 that's my birthday um come on can we get to 440 before we end that would be a nice little milestone to end on we've got things going on nicely now it is building up a little bit isn't it um what have we got going on we've got some industrial buildings going on we've got not much in the way of housing being built that i can see there but it's getting there i guess there's not an awful lot in the way of shops either at the minute which is a little worrying i guess the industrial area builds up first is it maybe get people in get people jobs get people living here um cars going around nicely though let's have a look at get away let's have a look at the traffic so it's it's already snarling up there isn't it look at that ouch it's already looking a little bit red there which is a little bit worrying oh we're up to 291 150 to go and we can call it a day it'd be nice to end it on that little um on that little uh achievement a little milestone that's going all right it's that area there is a little bit maybe is it because this road's only one lane i don't know let's worry about that later um so we've got these areas here again i was gonna i didn't want to put houses right next to the industrial so i'm probably going to put like the emergency services in there maybe the uh the school somewhere along here possibly maybe here um but we'll we'll worry about that in the next episode um 344 come on we can do this and there it is guys we have done it we have got to 440 it's the first milestone little hamlet um so it's taxes are now available as our loans which do help a lot we can now build a medical center we can do the uh, take care of the garbage with a landfill uh we can build a school so we've got a landfill site a medical clinic and an elementary school which we will tackle in the next video but guys if you did enjoy this first video they will get better as i understand the game a bit more and know what's going on and um, smash that like button for me as i said subscribe as well if you're new and i hope you'll be back for episode two Let's see where this journey takes us with this uh, this little town, which we have called Toxicity. Toxicity. I like System of a Down and bands like that. So, yeah. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you'll be back. Bye-bye.